Yeah, so someone says service charge on my flats eating my cash flow. Yeah, that that that. Yeah, you need to be careful. Yeah, when you when you're looking at buying properties and that, you need to take into consideration the service charge. Don't buy no property where there's a lift. Don't buy no flat where there's a lift. To buy a flat where you can walk straight off of the streets and go to the front door. So all the flats that I've got, you don't have to go through no security door. You just walk off the streets and go to that front door. Do you know why I've done that? Because eventually one day, I probably am going to do Airbnb. If there's a security door, how the fuck are they going to get through the air? How the fuck are they going to get through the security door to get to the front door to do the Airbnb and that? Because you can't start installing little key safe things outside the front of the building and that. You, you might, but I'm not taking that might possibility. So all the flats I bought, you can you can you can get to the front door off the street. There's no security door. There's no lift. When there's no security door and there's no well, especially when there's no lift, you don't have to pay mad service charge and that. If the lift breaks down and that, well, you, well, you have to pay into a service charge and that, which covers the lift service and that. So yeah, I'm not I'm 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 not paying I'm not paying. I'm I'm not taking on no property that has um, a lifter or anything like that. No, it's too expensive. 